my name is sunita welcome to my marketing dynamics vlog presentation so let's discuss what is marketing according to the charter institute of marketing the marketing is the management process to responsible for identifying anticipating and satisfying customers requirements profitably so i have chosen a uh, unilever brand for my this vlog let's move to the overview of the company fast moving consumer goods are produced and supplied by unilever the firm offers food items drinks home care items cosmetics as well as nutrients and medicine on september 2 1929 british soap manufacturer lever brothers and dutch margarine manufacturer margarine uni uh, merged to form unilever plc a worldwide fast moving consumer products corporation its main office is in london although the businesses nutrition section make the most revenue as well as the home care area has the biggest year over year increase so let's move to the porter's five forces law which is our main part of this blog so first point of the porter's five forces law is bargaining power of buyers which is moderate the bargaining power of buyers is moderate as they can switch to other companies offering goods at lower prices according to adam kasi 2017 the main concern of the buyers is the quality if they get good quality from other competitors then they can switch easily unilever is making great efforts to lessen the buyers powers and has a very low switching cost so our next point is bargaining power of suppliers which is moderate the according to adam kasi 2017 the bargaining power of suppliers is moderate as unilever deals with the wide range of vendors Unilever has also minimized strong connect connections with many vendors which helps them to get suppliers at minimum time and uh, our third point is the threat of new entrants which is high the risk of new entrants within the marketplace is high as the industry has very low and new entrant barriers however the new entrants must have the huge resources and the contacts to uh, to enter in the new marketplace according to miller 2022 so let's move to the fourth point which is threat of substitute it it's very high many competitors deal in fast moving consumer products according to adam kasi 2017 these rival firms may offer similar products to the consumers at competitive prices which could lead to the uh, switching of consumers from unilever to the rival firms as the as the consumers get the same products uh, with same quality in lesser uh, cost yeah so our last point is competitive rivalry which is high unilever has to come up with a strong marketing strategies to build beat this competition according to miller 2022 the company the company has also make continuous efforts to track the activities of its rivals continuous innovation has to be done by company to remain competitive in this industry so our next point to discuss is marketing segmentation targeting as positioning so what is segmentation unilever has divided its market segmentation based on demographic psychographics and behavior patterns of the consumers it can be said that segmentation mainly considers the age gender lifestyle and behavioral patterns of consumers for example unilever targets ecologically conscious customers and this type of customer has a focus on the sustainability of the products they are being offered the segmentation of the consumers has been done based on their interest level so let's move to the targeting so which cons consumers uh, unilever try to target the unilever target market of is uh, people from youngsters to older people the company targets middle class and upper middle class families which need daily products in their households it also focuses on consumers who are health conscious by offering them various products that can help them maintain good health and wellness patterns unilever offers a trendy 
uh, range of products to attract new generation so our next point is positioning how unilever is trying to position their place in the same market uh, and uh, defeating their competitors so they set themselves apart from rival firm by focusing on explaining the benefits of all the products the brand is offering unilever focuses on communication uh, with its customers about environmental and sustainability initiatives taken by the brand this helps them to convey to the consumers their, uh, their vision of protecting the environment while fulfilling consumer needs and demands. Unilever position itself well in the marketplace which helps consumers to choose Unilever over the rivals. So let's move to the marketplace. Market, marketplace considers with four P's which are product, promotion place and price so we are going to discuss first is product unilever does not deal in a single product if but it focuses on offering wide range of fast moving consumers goods which includes various categories such as food beverages drinks skincare products uh, daily needs products and the other grocery items unilever also focuses on offering environmental friendly products to consumers so that it can match the current expectation of the target market our next point of P is price. Unilever, Unilever has a vague vision of offering premium quality goods at reasonable prices to its consumers. It has dedicated prices of the products by briefly studying the pricing strategies of the rival firm. For deciding the price, Unilever takes into consideration all the factors, including the manufacturing cost, value building and the strategies being adopted by the rival firms so our next p is promotion so our next p is place unilever operates in almost every corner of the globe unilever focuses on offering products con to consumers by making of different channels such as grocery markets direct selling to consumers and also e-commerce services according to david 2024 promotion unilever focuses on using high level promotion strategies which helps them to develop brand royalty among its customers unilever has greatly invested in advertising strategies it makes you make use of both traditional advertising strategies as well as digital advertising strategies as we all know the consumers are more technically active uh, in these days so they have to be used digital advertising strategies most now let's move to the practical implications after researching the market mix of unilever it has become a very clear that every company has to focus on the strategies that are being adopted by its competitors by doing this any company develop more effective strategies to attract the target audience promotional strategies that a company adopts have a major impact on a market image and brand royalty among customers. Digital platforms can be great help of companies to attract consumers. The companies should position themselves well in marketplace by letting consumers know about their efforts and their differentiating factors. It can be said that Companies should not rely on a single vendor. They should focus on developing strong relations with several vendors which could help them to lower the power of suppliers and within the marketplace. So now let's move to the summary. From the above presentation, it can be concluded that Unilever operates within a highly competitive marketplace and it has to work more on adapting the right strategies to lessen the impact of competitors. The segmentation, targeting, and positioning strategy of Unilever has been discussed in detail. In promotional strategies and uh, uh, price strategies has also been discussed in the above slides. Moreover, practical implications have also been included about has been about what has been learned after conducting the research. So here are my some of the reference. Hope this blog is uh, being the informational. Thank you for watching my blog.